Last time on Mara and Luigi Superstar Saga. Playtime's over for the day. Over, 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 over. Okay, let's put up the fake one. It looks so legit. What the? Fawful's too, uh, Fawful's too smart for us. Alright, but Mario has an idea. Oh, I have to laugh. We would never release Peach to scheming liars like you two. Look, we have the real Princess Peach. I'm taking the real Princess Peach. <laughs> Help. Poor Luigi. I can't say. Um, humongous cockroach! How did you trick us? Time to make a hasty retreat. Can't touch this. Do, 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 do. The real bean star. Gag! How could this happen not only once, but twice? So now, we have both the bean star and Princess Peach. God, we are awesome. <coughs> Instead, we go to the Mushroom Kingdom. Oh, God. What are Balea's plans in the Mushroom Kingdom? Will Luigi land safely? Will this LP ever end? Find out today on Let's Play Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Alright, it's time to go save Luigi. Now, as you can see, we're actually pretty close to the entrance of Tiki Valley, although we can't escape. So they're forcing us to go save Luigi, in case you wanted to go on your own little adventure as Mario. That, that'd be ridiculous. The game wouldn't be Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, then. It'd be... Mario Saga. I don't know. But, um, as you can see, there are these X's in these circles here. And if you have Luigi with you, which we currently not, you can get beans out of those, but... It's starting to question the point of beans, because I'm pretty sure I've just about enough beans to get all the coffees that I need, but we're not sure on that now, are we? So yeah, I might come back here a little bit and get those, but I am not lost, am I? Okay, there's an entrance right here. That might help, that might help. Okay, what's this gonna do? Wow, that seemed a little bit pointless. I, I hate in games when they have, like, a switch that- oh, oh, okay, that did something else, never mind. Whoa, what was all that? What? Yeah, it's Popple! I miss Popple. This this is that green guy. Which means that red guy should be around here somewhere. Well, for now. Rookie! Tie this guy up. Oh, so Popple's on himself a new rookie. And it's not Bowser. Or I'm sorry, I mean I mean it's it's it, it's not Ward. Well, I wonder who it could be then. Maybe it's somebody we've already met. Hmm. I'm interested now, but I'm pretty sure we need to go that way, so... Okay, this is a, just a dead end with a blue cactus. Silly blue cactuses, you don't exist. Oh, but yeah, I guess maybe a blue cacti, but whatever. Okay, two new enemies, actually. Yeah, I got the first strike. That's probably the first time we got our first strike since the beginning of the LP, but here we have... Dry Bones. They're pretty much recolors of the Dry Bones we saw back in, um... Hoo Hoo Mountain. Oh, excuse me, sir. Ah, can I... Oh, look at that counterattack. And that's also the first time of counterattack since the first time, and... Or, that's the first time of counterattacks the getting of the LP. Yeah, oh goodness. Yeah, not not appreciating Mario's random weight, but yeah, those are dry bones. They're really weak, and they really don't give them much EXP, so I'm not sure what they're doing here. But whatever. Whether we have seen them already or not, I'm going to flash their stats up. And there's a second new enemy we can find here. Man, it's not here either. Now, one thing that's interesting about these is that, unlike in every other Mario RPG game, fire does almost nothing to these guys. In the Paper Mario games and every other Mario RPG ever, it does, like, super effective damage. And I seriously just died. Wow, that's awful. That's just humiliating. Wow. Anyway, I went ahead and found uh, the other new enemy we can find. These are Limbo Brothers. I think these are also recolors of enemies we've seen before in uh, Guarhar Ruins, but okay, let's see if we can dodge them. Wow, that was really easy. Yay! I can finally dodge an enemy. That's the first time I've been able to do that since, like, Woohoo University. Oh, oh, never mind. Oh, there I go, ruining the moment. And these things can actually poison you, which is very unfortunate, because poison is actually pretty annoying in this game. It does, like, 10 damage every turn, which is pretty bad. Sir, It's amazing how these enemies are really easy. I'm like, oh yeah, these enemies are really easy, and they, they, don't, they don't give that much XP. Yeah, I'm getting my asses... I'm getting my asses whooped by them. Yes, that is what's happening right now. And the random weight, once again, isn't really helping, but... Will I die from poison? There we go. Okay. So, yeah. Oh god, why am I so bad at this game? I remember, and when I was playing this game on the on the Game Boy, I never died. It was pretty much out of the question for me to die when I was playing this on the Game Boy. But now that I'm playing on an emulator... <laughs> Speaking of the emulator, I'm actually going to talk about that in a little bit. You may have noticed that the audio glitching is kind of gone. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to talk about that in a little bit, but right now, we have... Oh, just a little... 
puzzle-ish sort of thing. Yeah, so I guess I was kind of saying this earlier. I hate it when games, like, they have, like, a switch that opens a door that's, like, right in front of you. Like, well, what's the point in that? Like, okay, you're showing me how to open a door. I, I kind of already knew how to do that. Okay, you can save if you like. I would actually recommend saving, but I'm far too stupid to do that, so we're just gonna advance. And we found Luigi! Burn! Oh, what? No! The whole the whole world would burn up, and it would burn Luigi's face off. That's very unrealistic. Then again, I guess it's not like Mario brings a knife with him or anything, like any other hero would. What an emotional reunion. Oh, wow, my hanky is sopping with, wet with tears. Bull, stupid who? You, Red, I've been waiting for you to arrive, see? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I like how Hopple's voice changes like every time I voice act him. I went and found me a rookie, here. One that will take you down from me, sir. Darling, what's all the ruckus? Oh. Your new rookie is Birdo? Why? Oh, why must they be here? Why can't we be all alone, speaking the language of love? Oh, That's sticky. Who are you calling, darling? Pavel's having some issues with his uh, new rookie, it would seem. Hmm. This dame passed my audition perfectly. She's all... She's my all-new, bigger, better rookie. Don't call me Birdo, call me Birdie. Now, this is actually a reference to Super Mario Bros. 2. In the... I think it's the little player's guide that comes with the game for Super, Super, Super Mario Bros. 2. I wanted to say Super Smash Bros. 2. It says that Birdo like, likes to be called Birdie rather than Birdo. Because, in case you didn't know, Birdo is actually a boy dressing up as a girl. It's a transvestite. I, I, I've seen, like, two videos on that, so... It, it better be true. The videos weren't lying. Aha! Uh -huh. I'll show you, you hear? You'll all be bamboozled. With my rookie's new power, you'll see what I mean. Yes, the power of love. Oh god, the power of love conquers all. Oh wait, no it doesn't. Quiet, stop freaking me out. I don't care what kind of power it is. Any kind will do. I will destroy you, sir. Destroy you! Yeah, here comes destruction, ya couple of knuckleheads. Pablo's such an amazing character. He's a great little rival character. And, oh, wow. Why don't I think it was good for Luigi, or Mario? So yeah, Popple's actually pretty, what's the word, dangerous now, because he can steal one of your brother's hammers, like, for, like, four turns, and then hit you both with it, and if he can manage to steal both of your hammers, and you're completely defenseless from that attack, and he can keep hitting you until he gets tired, I guess, so. There's Popple stats then, there's Birdo stats, Birdo has a little bit more HP than Popple, Popple has 500, I think, and Birdo has about 900 or 700. Now, you can be Popple in this fight, just like before in the Popple and Rookie fights, Except now it's actually a bit harder, because Birdo's a bit more... Mm, strong than Bowser. Yes. Really. So we're just gonna... Just start attacking, I guess. And now I guess I can start talking about that thing I was alluding to. The emulator! As you all noticed in the past couple of videos, the audio has been kind of glitchy for the past couple of videos, and it's been a little bit annoying. Some of you might have found that intrusive. I apologize if you did, but I imagine some of you were able to live with it. And blue just doing almost no damage, but that's an example of what a Birdo's attacks. Yeah, so now, okay, this is gonna confuse you, but when I originally, yes, okay, this is my second recording of this, I mind you. When I first recorded this, the audio was still glitchy, like it was before in the other videos. But then, okay, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm like trying to concentrate while I talk about this cut. Elementary, elementary that's playing, Sean. You never concentrate while trying to do something in a game. How did I miss that? <laughs> yeah, 10 damage! Oh god, I am so awesome. Okay, so Luigi's like doing almost no damage with this attack, so I'm just gonna use him to heal. So yeah, like I said, this is my second time recording this. And when I first recorded this, the audio was all glitchy, and even the video was glitched up. That's why, I rec that's why I'm re-recording this, because... There are some points where the video would just lag up so much that you couldn't tell what was going on. So yeah, I figured it'd be best to just re-record this. And I apologize for any any inconsistencies that happened because of this. Because you imagine, say, in the first time I, re I recorded this, I used this item. And then in the other videos, I don't have that item. But now since I'm re-recording this, and I don't use the item, then suddenly in the next episodes I might have the or might not have the item, you know, just kind of little inconsistencies like like that. I apologize if you can notice that, but I figure this was still a much better solution than keeping the original recording because 
It wasn't that good. There we go, I managed to block that. Now, yeah, Luigi's doing almost no damage. I'm going to go ahead and change up the armor on my brothers a little bit, so they'll be a little bit more res resilient, especially Luigi, doing almost no damage, but... Yeah, Lu Luigi does serve as a good medic, I guess, though, because he never dies, and he can just use his turns to heal Mario and himself, so... I guess he's effective in that sense, so I'm gonna go ahead and heal up Mario, because he obviously needs it. So yeah, what else do I want to talk about today on in this fine boss battle with this fine boss music, which you can now finally hear because I fixed the audio. Yeah, the audio problems wasn't due to the emulator, it was due to me not knowing how to use the emulator. Basically, for some reason, in the emulator there's this little Game Boy setting, you can choose which kind of Game Boy it plays with, I guess. And for some reason I had it, I had it set to something called CBA, I don't even know what that is, but I had it set to it. <laughs> So I went ahead and fixed that, I set it to GBA, you know, because that's what this game is for. And then most of the problems are fixed. Now, the big fix came in when I went ahead and changed the frame skip to 1. And now, I guess that means that, you know, less frames per second or whatever, but the game is lagging so much less now, to the point where it's playable! So yeah, I'm sure that you can appreciate that, even if it means less frames. Yeah. So yeah, now I'll be playing a little bit better, as you've already noticed probably, I'm able to dodge attacks. So yeah, it really is unfortunate this LP has been plagued with so many technical difficulties, that's one problem I've had with this LP, but... Whatever, I still really enjoy recording this LP, and I'm looking forward to doing other games similar to this. Ooh, look at me being... what's the word? Not transparent? It's a great word. It's, 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 it's in a dictionary, okay. Let me go ahead and use our syrup. And then what else has been going on? Oh yeah! Uh, very hateful story of... How do I start this fun little story? Okay, about two weeks ago... Oh yeah, I've already mentioned this, so I'm sorry, I'm being stupid, but... I mentioned this a few days ago, my friend invited me to a brawl tournament that is going to happen at a local game store. And so I was all ready to go, it was, it was gonna happen today, at like five, I was all ready to go, I was practicing as my king date today, I was all ready to go. And then, like, half an hour before we were going to leave, we checked the website, or we checked the game store's Facebook, and they're like, yeah, we're delaying it for two weeks. And I guess it was because not enough, not enough people entered, but there were, like, ten people at my school who were going to enter once they got there. So that would have been, like, 15 people, because they already had, like, 55 people sign up, but... Yeah, like, they really frustrated me, though, because, like, I was looking forward to that all day. Like, uh, to sit through coming to school, but it's not going to be worth it, though, because after school I have to go beat up my friends with a giant hammer. <sighs> Whatever. You may have defeated my darling, but that's as far as you go. So after you defeat Popple, which is actually optional, like I said, I mentioned that. You can just beat Birdo and the fight will end, but I have to beat Popple. Birdo will kind of aggro. So I'm not sure what that ensues. Maybe she's stronger? I don't know. That's what I would assume. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Oh, she. I, th I think it means she has more attacks, so that's probably it. Why don't I use a nut? The only person who needed health was Mario. God, look at me dodging these attacks. I'm doing so much better now. Holy crap. I, I, I may go ahead and just re-record all the videos up until I fix this in part 44, I think it was. Yeah, sounds like a good idea. And yeah, I'm sorry. I remember back in Kirby's Epic Yarn, I was like, okay guys, I'm gonna try and be more professional in my videos, by which I mean, like, I'm not gonna talk about the videos themselves, I'm gonna talk about more interesting things. Well, I've done a terrible job with that in this LP. Almost every video I've mentioned something like, oh hey, this game's... or no, this emulator sucks, or oh hey, editing, I don't know. Just, I, I haven't been as professional as I would have liked to have been, but... I still feel like this was a really enjoyable LP. You can... you're free to disagree. Go ahead and leave your critiques in the comment section below. I would always appreciate that. Why don't I have Mario use that? I should have Luigi used it. Whatever. So yeah, look, Bro doesn't have nearly as much defense as Popple. Obviously, you can tell from the fact that Luigi's actually doing damage to him, and I've actually gotten the hang of this Knockback Brothers thing as, as soon as I get a 2 combo. Go and dodge that. What an easy attack to dodge. Now, this is so simple. This is like beginning of the game stuff right here. This is stupid. I don't know, I can't think of anything else to say. So yeah, besides that Rick Roll of the Brawl Tournament, I guess nothing much has been going on. Uh, let's use Knockback Brothers again. Let's see if we can get a good combo. One! Two, three, four, dow. Okay, well, that count as four, would that be three? I don't know. But Roberto should be getting pretty close to dying here. I'm gonna try and use fire for this again. B A. B A. B A. 
this is your personal training guide to how to use the advanced version of Fire Brothers. I, 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 I just imagine someone like playing this game and having me in the background saying, BA, and then they're, they're just following it. But okay, we did it. Yeah! And we got five Ultra Syrups. Very awesome reward for beating Popple. I'm recording, right? Okay. Hack, Hork, off. You, look at you, pathetic. You're useless, sir. You, you're fired. Are, are you saying that was all my fault? <laughs> since this must burn out the same accent as Popple. Shocking, I say. Love conquers all? I think not. Clearly, this is a test for me. Yes, the powers that be... Powers that be want me to go out on my own. Once I overcome many hardships, I shall be one step closer to superstardom. And that's how Birdo became a character in Mario Party. I can't believe I lost you! I thought Birdo was a good guy. Because, I don't know, I kind of assume that's the same Birdo who took Peach's place back in the beginning of the game, but... Whatever. Alright, how do we get out of here? Mm-hmm. Okay, I don't see any pipes. Oh, I see a pipe. Alright, so let's get out of here. Yay! And then we can go back to Beaming Castle, and I guess we're just gonna get some guidance there, because honestly, at this point, we don't have much to do. We have the Beanstar, we have Princess Peach. There's real no... no loose ends to tie up. Or is there? And on my way back to Beaming Castle, Luigi could level 34. We're getting there. We are getting to level 40, slowly but surely. Let's do... power. Luigi definitely needs power. Five! Yes! I'm happy about that. Alright, here we are, back to Beaming Castle Town. Let's go visit Queen Bean. What? How did this happen? Oh, what? We're being attacked right now? The skies are raining destruction. It's the end of everything. The town will be destroyed. We all gotta take refuge. You should too. What? You know, I've always wondered if it's possible to get hit by a bullet bill here, but this is kind of this is kind of awful. Fawful. I guess it's Balletta, but what does this have to do with going back to the Mushroom Kingdom? I don't know, but next time let's play Mario Luigi Superstar Saga, we are going to get the last coffees, I think. I don't know, I don't have to remember. See you guys then!